an object of mass m moving with the speed v along x axis suddenly breaks into two identical pieces so first of all let's start uh, an object of mass m moving with speed v an object of mass m is moving with speed v this is just before the uh, explosion or the separation let's say right suddenly breaks into two identical pieces if one of the broken pieces moves parallel to y axis along its positive direction uh, with speed v now uh, we all know what is the y axis and x axis this is according to the coordinate system well um, in this is the x axis and this is the y axis uh, in y axis this is taken as plus and this is taken as minus in x axis this is plus this is minus so they have told that uh, it initially it moves along the x axis positive direction at speed v, v that's why i marked like this and after the collision one of the pieces uh, so it is uh, it's separating the two identical pieces therefore one will be m by 2 and the other one also will be m by 2 hope you can understand one will be m by 2 and the other piece will also be m by 2 and one uh, object is moving upwards and what what should and uh, positive direction with velocity v okay it's moving in the y uh, along y axis in the positive direction and the other mass now they are asking about the other mass now talking about the other mass you have to understand one thing one for initially the object has a uh, momentum towards right so finally also there should be a momentum in the right direction but this is going up therefore this is the one who, who has to uh, supply that momentum this is the one who should be representing the momentum therefore it is going definitely going to have a horizontal velocity component i'll put it as vh initially there was no vertical momentum but finally one of the pieces is going vertically upwards so we need to cancel that out because initially there was no vertical momentum there are there are therefore there must be a vertical momentum in the downward direction acting on m2 i'll take it as vv vertical velocity component okay and they are asking what is the result of these two why have i taken m by 2 m by 2 one piece separated into two identical pieces suddenly breaks into two identical pieces so they should have equal mass okay people now therefore what we need to do is here we need to apply the law of conservation of momentum i'll start uh final linear momentum uh, to the right should be equal to uh, initial linear momentum to the right right final linear momentum to the right that will be um, mass m by 2 multiplied by vh horizontal velocity component equal to initial linear momentum in that direction is mv so m and m cancels out two goes up vh is equal to 2v that is the horizontal component of m by 2 the other mass and uh, you can apply final linear momentum in the vertical direction now i will use the vertically upwards direction and initial linear momentum that also should be applied upwards both must be the same direction what is the final linear momentum in the upward direction that will be m by 2 v minus m by 2 vv vv is the vertical velocity component of the other piece after the explosion and initially there is no vertical component therefore initial linear momentum in that direction is zero in that direction direction is important we are talking about a vector here so it's obvious you can see vv is equal to v because this goes as i m by 2 m by 2 gets cancelled off therefore vv is equal to v and vh is equal to 2v now what is vh horizontal velocity component what is vv vertical velocity component therefore uh the resultant velocity now you have to be careful resultant velocity of the remaining piece will be the horizontal component is uh, v by 2 uh, sorry 2v therefore it should be uh, if i draw it properly according to the scale 2v should be longer v should be shorter we should be shorter right the resultant of these two now will be how do you complete the result and you have to complete the vector polygon sorry vector sorry, parallelogram hence you will be getting the result along the diagonal and that will be in this direction flatter towards the uh, yeah it will be flatter it will be more towards the um, horizontal side and if you take this as 
theta theta should be uh, less than 45 because the horizontal component is longer therefore the best option would be the second answer as you can see this is uh, this is like 45 you know for me it looks like 45 and this angle here is greater than 45 but this angle here is a smaller angle which is less than 45 so ideally that would be the answer